Hello everybody. I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm your sister Joyce Charlene. The about Jesus Christ. You know, I love to talk about Jesus Christ. Do you know why? Because Jesus Christ has said that if you do my will, if you love me and you do my will, I will come and live inside of you. I suggest that if you, it is first time you haven't, you are listening to me to subscribe. I have uploaded a lot of videos with a lot of teachings about uh, Jesus Christ and that I believe that all those teachings of Jesus Christ is just like inspiration that you can start to read to listen so you will also be maybe you will also find it interesting to continue also to 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 to, to learn even more about Jesus Christ and what Jesus is telling us but most of the things that I encourage you is you yourself to read the scripture read the Bible and this is my email address if you have anything I'm just trying to share with you if you want to contact me you can use this email address if maybe you want to, to tell me anything you want to ask me anything or maybe you are thinking that you want to um, maybe you have something that you needed me to, to share with me that you think that I can help you in prayers also you can send me that email and I will try to do what, whatever that the Lord is leading me to do. And today, so I'm talking about the devil's weapon. I'm talking about the devil's weapon. And my, this is the, what I'm talking about, the devil's weapon. I'm reading that the devil's weapon, you know, the devil, the devil, when the devil does not have any power. For a child of God, the devil does not have any power. But the devil's power, it comes into lies. If you can accept the lies of the devil, then you are gone. Do you understand? And this is my teachings about the devil's lie. The devil's also the devil's weapon is also the fear. The fear. If the devil can make you scared, and this is his weapon. If the devil weapon is to tell you, to make you not believe in yourself, not believe even in who you are, not believe even if you are a child of God, not even be making you believe, even if the God, even if somebody, even if God has pointed you, but still the devil will come and scare you and tell you, no, you are not. This is the devil's this is the devil's weapon the devil weapon is like this but if you know who you are you will not be shaken so this is the teachings of jesus i'm just simply trying to tell to you it was when the jesus was obeying but when jesus was being baptized when jesus went into the water before we the and then the holy spirit came upon him like a dove Jesus was filled with Holy Spirit and the voice from heaven was here that say this is my beloved son to whom I'm pleased the voice of God from heaven declared Jesus is the son of God in front of all those people who was around there and maybe because of that voice was like people say that it's like it was like the voice of this of thunder because some people say that is thunder and some people say that they hear the voice that say that this is my son to whom i'm beloved i'm pleased so the voice of god told jesus they say that you are my son jesus is the son of god so after that jesus who was filled with holy spirit he came out of the water and he was led by the holy spirit to the wilderness and there he fasted for 40 days jesus needed to fast i guess because he wanted to submit his body because his body was like it, it was i believe it was human body i thought um, he needed to fast for 40 days and he fasted for 40 days day and night i cannot fast for 40 days days and night i i don't I, I don't think i can do this but i believe that jesus is 
exceptional and he is to totally different in any kind of, i don't know if anyone do you can you <laughs> so after jesus was fasted for 40 days and the devil was following him he was the devil heard that jesus was declared in front of everyone to be the son of god and that was what was disturbing the devil he was jealous he was too jealous he was that was something was really disturbing you when you know that jesus the devil has been the devil was a throne from heaven do you know that the devil was a throne from heaven because of his disobedience and he was kicked out of heaven and the reason why the devil is know that he will never be in heaven again never ever and the devil is so sad and angry and he hate Jesus hate Jesus so much and the word that say Jesus is the son of God is really disturbing the devil nothing else yeah, yeah, to just the just something to just to know all oh, the devil doesn't want this so after 40 days the devil followed Jesus and the first thing he told Jesus this is what we can continue to read we continue to read in we can continue to read in Luke chapter 4 we can continue to to read in Luke chapter 4 when the devil met Jesus when the devil met Jesus what did the devil say to Jesus if you are the son of God he said through uh, if you are the son of God tell the stones to become bread so the devil is trying to ask Jesus if you are the son of God the devil heard Jesus the devil knows Jesus is the son of God when it, the voice from heaven he declared Jesus are the son of God everyone hear about it the devil did not ask him who you who are you the devil did not even ask him who are you who are you in the kingdom of God because the devil know who Jesus is but the pain of jealous let him to to speak what it, it was inside of him if you are the son of God you understand turn these stones to bread and Jesus say that because Jesus knew that this is just the devil is trying to tempt me but he decided to be that kind and good and answer him as a gentleman he told him what did he say to me he just told him it Jesus answered, it is written, man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. So Jesus used the scripture, Jesus tried to tell him that I am not following everything, I cannot turn the stones because I am hungry. I am not going to turn these stones to bread because I am hungry or because you have told me to do. I know my I know what, what I have to do and but Jesus did not want it to go through and yes told him man shall not live of bread alone but of every word that comes out of the mouth of God we have to also remind this also it is reminding us even today because even if the people we are learning a lot of shit out there the people are telling you a lot of things about what we need in our lives because we are you can you but we must have to remember one thing a man shall not live of bread alone but of everything that comes of the out of the mouth of god maybe you cannot do something because you want money you cannot do anything everything because you are 
hungry you cannot do everything because oh, this is these days we have been told so much things you know even if we have been told in even if when it, I'm just talking about when you come to the church, you come to, you become a Christian in the beginning, and you will be tempted to do things before the time you understand, or to start maybe before your time, or whatever it is. But remember, it is not all about bread, but everything that comes out of the mouth of God. We must have to remember this, and every time when we are being tempted to do things that are out of the will of God and you know we have we are hearing so much things these days people are talking about maybe it can be like when you fall in love you have to think about also the same thing it's not all the life is not all made of love or because of relationships you have to think about if that relationship is in the will of God do you understand it can be like when you are in love with someone and you think that and people we have been taught a lot maybe at the schools maybe watching television is that everyone must have the lover or someone but you must have to think that if this is in the will of god do you understand god has created adam and yes he he did that that does not mean that even in the Bible is telling us that not we not all can be in the marriage. So that means that the marriages shall not be must for everyone. Or 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 if I am in love with someone, I shall go to be in a relationship with that person because I am hungry. You must have to consider yourself if this relationship is not going to ruin my relationship with God and this is so important to think that if this relationship is not going to ruin my relationship with God and the come again is the answer that you cannot just go in relationship because you are hungry you cannot just go into relationship because you are your desires are forcing to do that but you have to put yourself and ask yourself if this is not going to ruin my relationship with God because a man shall not live only of the bread alone not only of the relationships alone not only of the jobs even if when you are to take a job you have also to think about if this job I'm going to take is not going to ruin my relationship with God I know that and this message actually should go to the young people because the young people they have a great opportunity to arrange their life when you are born again and is still not married you know how to, which kind of relationship you have to follow you have know exactly how who you are going to marry because at that time you know exactly that you have to find a spouse that is not going to ruin your relationship with God and this is so very important so you cannot just go into the relationship or in the marriage because you're hungry or because you want to marry someone because you are being tempted you must have to think because the devil is a liar and this is how the people are being trapped because they are being trapped into the wrong relationships and they come to the point and they cannot go out of that relationship any longer so you have to think before you put yourself into that relationship because if it is going to ruin your relationship with God then you are in the big trouble mm. Or if you are going to get a spouse who is requiring things that you cannot provide. And this is going to be trouble into your life. Or whatever it is. So anything must be according to the will of God. And this is going to make your life, Christian life, healthier. I am also thinking about if you cannot also when you fall in love. Maybe you fall in love with someone who is already in other marriage already in the marriage you do you think that you shall go there because only because you're hungry you cannot do that because it, it, that's the reason that's the word is coming again a man shall not live with bread alone a man shall not live with relationship alone the man shall not live with everything if you plan your life very early you will not come into the bad consequences of 
you fall into wrong consequences of changing spouse or maybe because those things can trap you and you will come to the point that you will not it will be very difficult to get out of that mm -hmm. so we as many for those who has already been married and or maybe they are already they born again it, it takes pain to get out of wrong relationship if that relationship is ruining your relation to relationship with god of course you must have to get out of that relationship and it takes pain and if if you have come to that point that you have to choose a relationship and god that is a hard choice but if for those who hasn't yet started that can be very easy but whatever it is nothing shall stand between you and god nothing shall stand between you and and your eternal life that's the reason that we have to think before anything we are putting ourselves into the same thing what we teach our kids also we teach our kids how to prepare them to make the better choices when they grow up because a man shall not live alone with the bread alone but every word that comes out of the mouth of God and this is what the, we are learning from Jesus he refused to change stones to bread because the devil has told him even if he was himself hungry you see and when the devil found out that I, 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 I lost him there then he found out maybe I will try to do something else and he knew that this man is living after the will of God then I have to take him to then the devil him to talk him to them he took him to the holy city and he had him stand on the highest point of the temple if you are the son of God, he used again the same word. He said, throw yourself down, for it is written, he will command his angels concerning you, and you will lift, you will lift up your, and they will lift up their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. So again, the devil was trying to trap, to tempt Jesus, but this time he used scripture because he know, because he know that Jesus now he is living after the scripture, and now he decided even you a child of God, it can happen to you because when you find yourself that because you are living after the scripture, the devil will try to find people who know scripture and will bring to you and will show you the scriptures and tell you this that it is written this we know that there is a lot of things happening these days we know that there is some people they are deceiving people are being so much deceived these days because of the wrong scripture when you wrong 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 scripture to the wrong occasion you understand because it is written this because it is written this it is written this look here this word here so give me money of course the, there are some people they are using also scripture to steal money from people but uh, there are some people they are using I'm not going to talk about that I'm just telling you you must have to be careful even if the scripture can be used to trap you to the lies you need to trap you also why because the, every scripture has been written have been made for a special reason and it has to be used for that special reason you cannot just twist the scripture for your own benefit and there are some people these days they are also twisting scriptures for their own benefits because they want to trap other people do you understand they wanted to trap other people to the and because of to their to to be able to satisfy their lust you understand it, because it has been written in this so i have to follow this to trap people to their fall into their their last game remember that a child of god every scripture has its own its its own meaning that meaning has to benefit not to destroy 
or not to lead people to sin. Uh, these are for these people, the newborn Christians, that they must have to know this. Do not be deceived, and righteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. You understand that? So, you must have to remember this word, unrighteous people. No matter what, if it has been written, you must have to know the scripture very well. Because Jesus know the scripture. Jesus know the scripture very well. And Jesus was not trapped on that scripture. Even if he know the scripture, he also answered to him. Do you know what he answered to him? Jesus answered him, it, it is also written. You understand? So when you are being tempted with the scripture, you must have to know what it is also written. Do not put the Lord your God to the test. So, because the devil know the scripture. And the devil know where to get you. Because even if when he, even if you are going to, the, the devil can use even the, twist, the scripture to twist the meaning we understand. I have heard some people, they say, some people also, it was on Facebook, they say that greatest, greatest of all is love. And the greatest of all is love. And they are taking this love in the meaning of lust, that you shall not live without love, we shall without lust, because love of that was not this the, this scripture does not talk about that love what people that love people they are talking about the last you understand so if you twist the meaning you will get the the scripture can give you different meaning that you will really be, you will be really deceived or you will deceive people you understand so you must have to know that every scripture has its meaning do you understand nobody you shall not live with bread alone but everything that comes out of the mouth of God and when even if when you are talking to love love must we are talking about love the love that was they were talking about the greatest of all is love we are talking about love loving your neighbor or loving that like the the love like jesus loved us that he gave his life to us so when you twist the meaning you will find that people are falling into lust because they're thinking that i can i cannot live without love so love 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 you understand be careful be really careful jesus knew the scripture you must also know the scripture you must read the scripture so you know the scripture so you are not going to be deceived by those who say that Christ of all is love and where they are leading you to last. You understand? Again, the devil took him to a high mountain and he showed him the, all the kingdom of the world and the splendor. All this I will give to you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. Jesus said, away from me satan for it is written worship the lord your god alone and save him alone so jesus cast him the devil out of his presence and he told them get away satan for it is written you shall not, you shall worship the god alone himself so remember that the devil is a liar jesus know that because when jesus is so that what he, the devil was showing him everything and he told him well, you know what this is all is mine well jesus know the scripture jesus know jesus know himself who he is and Jesus know that everything that was made was made through him. Jesus know everything about, Jesus know that this devil is just the liar. It is not like he, he was not talking with someone who doesn't know who he is. He was talking with Jesus. He is talking with the Son of God. He is talking with the Word of God. He is talking with the God. And he tell him, all things are mine. That's the reason Jesus is saying that the devil is a liar and is a thief and a liar. Because the devil, when the devil talk, he talk from himself. He is not talking from 
reality do you understand you know all these things are mine i can give to you so he trying to negotiate it with jesus so jesus can really bow down to him so you know what there are so many people these days that have been deceived by devil. They sold their soul to the devil. And they're thinking that because they, they sold their soul to the devil to get everything of the world. Those things, actually, if you can, they some people really, they worship the devil. The devil, we have been given authority over him. We can trample him with our feet, not bow to him for anything. Even all those things we have been looking for, we get one day we can get but we must have to put ourselves under his the word of God because everything nothing everything comes first we have to live for the, everything that is coming out of the mouth of God if you can remember this then you will know that you a child of God you shall not be tempted by devil to sell your soul to the devil because if you sow your soul to the devil, you together with the devil will be, all of you will be lost forever. You will be thrown to the lake of fire and you will be, you go to hell with the devil and forever you will be lost there. You will be crying every day, night and day without nobody to help you. The devil has no power to help anyone there. The devil himself, he will be tormented with fire. So you must have to remember this, a child of God, that we have to do the will of God so that in the right time we will be paid. Even everything, Jesus is saying that we shall not worry about anything but because everything will be given in the right time. You understand the child of God? So I'm just encouraging you to, to, to understand that you are so much blessed to become, to be the child of God. And you don't take it for granted. Jesus did not take it for granted. Jesus know who he is. And Jesus, even he humbled himself to the point of all what he did, he did all for us. I will continue. After Jesus cast the demon, that is Satan, out, you know what happened? I continue. This is the last thing I can say. I say that what after Jesus, Jesus told the devil, get away Satan, the angels came and ministered him. They started to save him. Amen. That's a great thing, isn't it? So if so the devil left and the devil were defeated so i believe that you will also defeat the devil so you can be paid in the right time bless i bless you in the name of jesus christ amen hallelujah